I'd like to prove something that I saw in a uh, book called Concrete Mathematics by Donald Knuth and some other Stanford academicians. And uh, it's something that looks fairly believable, but I'm still going to go through a, a formal proof. Um, making up stuff here, let's do square root of 49 over 9 on this side as the input argument to the floor function. And we want to know if it's equal to, let me put a question mark here. We're not positing equality, we're just saying we're quit, we're asking. Okay. Now right here we would have the square root. See, it's uh, similar. Um, but it's nested in, in a sense, okay, of the floor. See what we're doing right here? Let's see if I can fit that in there, 49 over 9. Of course, it's a perfect square in, in, the, in the rational, in the field of the rational numbers. Now, y'all, it's pretty easy to determine. I won't go through the steps, but this, it's very clear that the, both of them are equal to 2. Right, the square root of 49 over uh, 9 by design is an easy one. It's 7 over 3. And so the greatest integer less than 7 over 3 is 2 from this side. But on this side, you see this would just directly become 2. All right, and so you see you get the equality. So it's pretty easy to believe, um, you know, uh, but still I'm going to go ahead and prove it. It's certainly true for all integers, right? The, 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 the test is for irrational numbers and, and, and rational numbers. Okay. Now here, here's the definition of the floor function. It just upper bounds like this. And uh, directly from the definition, now notice that just this statement right here, the, the left-hand side here, this, the, the square root of x here in the floor, this really means, the fact that this is even being stated means that k, the integer k would be less than or equal to the square root of x, uh, strictly less than k plus 1. Now, the square root function is definitely monotonically, or it's just increasing, right? I, I don't like that word. Um, and so notice what happens, though. This is directly from the definition. Again, we just replace uh, x in the definition with the square root of x. And when you square both sides, which you can since the square root function is increasing, you get this statement here. Now, notice that what we get out of this also, this statement right here says that the floor of x, not the square root of x, but the floor of x, is equal to k squared, right? So that's a conclusion just directly from the definition. It's something you could do in your head, really, but this is just formal, okay? Now, um, now let's look at the other side where we, the other side of the equality, this, this piece right here, we're looking at right down here. Now, we're just doing the definition again. Remember, you strip away the, the square brackets and you get this statement here, and again, uh, you can square both sides. The square root function is, uh, I think maybe you need continuity or something, I'm not sure, but in any event, you can square both sides because this is increasing. And uh, so, or not decreasing might be the better way of saying it. And when you do that, you just rip out the, uh, uh, the square root symbol, okay? So you see, we also get that the floor of x, and again, everybody's saying, well, yeah, I could just do this numerically, and you're right, you could test a few numbers numerically, and you always know that it's true, but that doesn't constitute a mathematical proof, right? So uh, we get right here is equal to m squared, right? So we wrote, right up here, we wrote it was k squared, and here we wrote it's m squared, and so this certainly implies that uh, these two statements here uh, imply that uh, m is equal to k all right. for all integers, right? So that's QED time.
And y'all, in Donald Luce's book, it's a famous book among computer scientists, computer programmers, coders. Uh, it's called Concrete Mathematics, and they, they, they talk about the joining of discrete math and continuous math. And they, uh, this is sort of an example of that, because if you look at the, the floor function, it's, it's, it is a discontinuous function at the integers. But it's, mo it's mostly continuous, and there's not, not, not being particularly formal on that. But anyway, uh, they talked about this particular function, and there's nothing special about the square root function in this context. Any increasing continuous function, I think, the same kind of thing would happen. So anyway, uh, that is all.